Uh, so yeah, how many times is this going to repeat itself? Because last video I made on my channel, by the way, you should check it out, is about how Google got hacked, well, allegedly got hacked, there is a big breach, and 2.5 billion accounts were leaked. And now, the September 2nd, December, <laughs> September, sorry, 2025, we have another data breach, which is in my opinion, even worse, because from the Google's one, we at least just knew email addresses, phone numbers, but this one includes a lot more scarier stuff, including social security numbers from the users who were affected. And apparently we have 4.5 million people in the United States which were impacted by the breach. You know, let's just dive into this and figure out how exactly and when exactly did this all happen and what can you do if you maybe were affected and how do you know if you were affected? Let's get going. And maybe if you want to learn hacking and become just like me, then check out my course. Link is in the description. Also, check out my platform, which is called Aveno. It is basically your personal AI assistant made to basically help you get organized and help you with your hacking journey. Check it out. Link is in the description. All right. So let's just pause for a second. Who got hacked? Apparently, TransUnion is the company who got hacked. Now, okay, I know the jokes write themselves. The name is kind of funny, TransUnion. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, I'm just sometimes unserious, but that's that's all right. So I Googled what even is TransUnion, and apparently it is an LCC in America, and basically is a consumer credit reporting agency, and they collect and aggregate information on over 1 billion individual customers. Wow including 20 million files profiling nearly every credit active consumer in the United States. And also its customers include over 65,000 businesses. So it's quite bad and it's a quite big company. So let's get going. And as you can see, it is a giant company and 4.5 people, four, four, I wish it was 4.5 people, 4.5 million people in the United States were affected by it. And apparently sources do link the intrusion of the shiny hunters. Um, it is a silly name, but of course, if they are responsible, then, you know, I, I don't know. I, I can't comment really much on that, but I'm going to just cover the news. And it is a extortion group. And it basically was an attack abusing third party slash OAuth connected apps. Salesforce ecosystem interesting we'll see how things unfold and by the way if you think i'm pulling these stories out of my ass not really it's just literally happening and as you can see asisonline.org literally wrote about this and 2nd december so literally yesterday they wrote about it so yeah okay so what let's just start slowly get into it the victim was transunion or the u.s customer credit reported agency and of course it is one of the major u.s credit bureaus and let's see what actually happened. What data was exposed? Personally identifiable information, PII actually, its names, billing addresses, phone numbers, emails, dates of birth, and etc. All right, that's nothing too bad. We've seen that in the Google breach, but of course, nothing too scary. And then we get to the social security numbers. And this is where things get tricky because they can see unredicated security numbers. Oh, I'm sorry, unredicated, unredacted, sorry. And, you know, that's that's kind of bad. I don't know. In my opinion, that is actually kind of bad. We see customer support tickets slash messages stored in the Salesforce, reasons for transactions, blah, 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 and not included credit reports or core credit files per notification letter. So at least something was not included. But social security numbers, you say, and how many people? 4,461,511 people in the United States were affected and likely this number is about to grow because you never know <laughs> oh my god that's crazy and crm support operations i see the crm a little too often i th i think vibe coders just just take a break man and shiny hunters maybe they are responsible for it we never know honestly so this is the attack path from what we know the third party slash oath vector basically so attackers were using malicious and compromised or and or compromised oauth apps which really begs the question, how exactly did this happen? But, you know, we will actually get a clearer picture as we go on. But for my non-American friends, including me, I'm not from the United States, so I kind of had to Google this. What can someone do with my social security number? And apparently <laughs> an identity theft could <laughs> try to use your social security number to do things like opening accounts, taking out a loan, 
file taxes or get a job i'm i don't honestly i don't think anybody is going to use my social security number to get a job <laughs> i mean that's just silly but you know one thing uh south korea has actually been trying to hire people from the united states to kind of work and like register linkedin accounts in the united states so they can kind of connect with them i don't know i just heard a story like that so this can definitely be abused in so many ways and i can guarantee you that these social security numbers are going to be ending up on a blacklist oh, i'm sorry on the black market but of course we never know and it is it is really getting scary so why was transunion target well, we honestly never know. Maybe somebody stumbled upon a vulnerability and instead of reporting that, basically decided to exploit it and then accidentally found a large number of people who were affected by it. But again, this could have been a targeted attack on TransUnion where essentially they saw that they had high value PII and basically they can do, do now identity theft once they actually hack them. But you honestly never know. And this is the timeline of how it worked. And bear in mind that this was discovered in the 28th of July, um, uh, 28th of June, yeah, 28th of July, 2025, what am I talking about? And that's when the actual bridge happened, and the discovery of the incident was two days after that. Kind of too long to honestly even discover an incident, but I don't know, I'm getting ahead of myself. In the late August, we, yay, we see a notification letter sent, and of course, uh, be everything being published, and literally yesterday, we see a little bit of a better picture behind it, a better story. But of course, this was kind of a late thing that happened, but you know, we had to cover it either way. So this is going to be one hell of a situation because now you kind of have to have a two years of active monitoring for identity theft protection and they, they offer that. So they're going to lose money essentially here. And as well as people are not going to trust you anymore. Now, I know that credit freezes are going to be obviously taken by the people who were hacked, but of course, you honestly never know who was affected. So, best way to kind of know if you were affected, maybe if you were registered on that company's website, then you should check out your email, see if maybe you received something. I don't know. If you did, that that means you were affected by it, but I doubt, I, I honestly don't use this platform, so I don't know how, how things work. And I will leave this in the description box below so you can kind of read it yourself if you're kind of interested in it. But this is a one big breach. And we really need to talk about it because it's not emails that were hacked. It's social security numbers because, as you can see, someone can get a job on your name. So if you if, if you don't want to work, maybe maybe it's time to maybe it's time to. I don't know if they can be revoked. Hold on. Can social security number social anxiety be cured? What the hell? Hell no. Nah, I don't know. I don't I don't want to I don't want to know that. Can social security number be revoked? That's what I'm trying to know. Uh, thing is, social security. Okay, then I get suspended. Okay, so that's a. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, SSNs, SSNs or social security numbers are never deleted. They're a lifetime record of an individual's earnings. Okay, so that's bad. I don't know. I don't know if they can be revoked. I don't know. I, I don't understand the the American system a little too much, but honestly, I think this is kind of bad, bro. <laughs> but anyways, this is what this, what has happened. We really need to just be on the lookout because things can definitely get messier if we understand how exactly it was executed this whole orchestra of things then we can definitely make a video on it but as of now we know that this is going to be a one wild story because 4.5 million people were affected aka they have 4.5 million social security numbers of different people and that is definitely bad so we're gonna see how things unfold how things just basically go around and get together and maybe we will know for for good what actually is going to come out of this so thank you so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe like i don't know comment stay safe stay responsible and as always peace